Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at an indie game called Broken Armor. Uh, I think it's 99 cents on Steam. And I got it on sale for like 49 cents, I think. But uh, I used to see it, and it looked kind of interesting, but it had like mixed reviews, and it all of a sudden went to positive reviews. I'm not sure why. So, if I remember correctly, that is. So I went ahead and bought it. It's a pretty fun little game. So, maybe it was a different version earlier. So this is 2... Point one, point four. So you can be a knight or a mage. So we'll go through the knight gameplay for a little bit. Somewhere down there, like the Holy Grail, which you're looking for. Here's your little knight. On the bottom uh, right hand is axe, spear, sword, and mace, which you'll collect. You start with a sword. And they're all one shots. So you can go to these little like dungeon areas. Kind of has like a uh, Zelda, Legend of Zelda feel going on, but it's like it moves really quick. So it's, it's a lot of fun to like pick up and play. There's an the axe. And you can like stockpile weapons. So, see, I got two swords now. Got the money. Sometimes it's best just to avoid the enemies because they can do a lot of damage if you like. They damage you by touching you, but like if you get stuck on you or like follow like the path you're going, like if you go left and they're going left on top of you, it's gonna drain your energy extremely fast. I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, bats usually do it pretty well. <laughs> and then you're dead. The game's one shot. So you die, you just have to start all the way over. So it's also the knight, go to the mage. They play the same. Uh, the mage can heal himself though, and uh, the fireball is like an area attack. Kind of. It shoots like three fireballs, which is kind of handy. We'll go ahead and try to get to the first boss so you can see that. And uh, the boss is randomized as well. So you don't know which one you're going to run into first. So he gets these orbs. So red, of course. That's for fireball. Like that. So blue is just water, you can go through it and be fine. <laughs> you do want to collect the money because you will buy, you have the ability to either buy health or weapons or magic right before each boss battle. And hearts of course are health. Some uh, um, I think these coins are what? I'm not sure these were. One. And that means uh, silver or white ones are worth five. And then gold, ten. Yep. The music is, I think, primarily just this tune. It might change when it gets to like a, um, it eventually gets to, like a forest level. So here, I'll tell you what's best for you. Uh, all I have is a dagger. You can buy another dagger for 60, um, which I think I will. So when you see these boars, you're gonna go to a boss next. So this is like the tree boss. And But the good thing is, we won't leave you like hanging. When you get to a boss battle, you know, a weapon will always um, come up to grab. Just gonna try to actually hit the tree. Yeah, green, of course, is poison. So I'm 
gonna kill all those. Collect all the goodies. And uh, you're gonna continue on until you, um, not to spoil it, but there'll be a, a boss and like a bigger boss. The health is usually almost always worth getting, of course. And I'll try to run through the next to the next boss so you can like, see it because that boss wasn't very um it's okay I guess. I'll try to run through here really quick. Beating, so let's get a. <laughs> oops, I'm about to get a heart. Oh well. So you see, you got these different bosses. This crazy eyeball thing. Oops. I'm like going into lava. Mm. So they have broken armor. It's a fun little game. It's definitely worth. Um, it's worth a dollar, that's, that's for sure. Because uh, it's one of those things you can play, if you just die like that, you're just going to start over and play a couple more times. And you see I got one win, 16 losses. Like I said, it's one and done, and you have to start all the way over. But uh, it is has that kind of addictive gameplay for, you know, a good, like, sit down for 10 minutes and play it. Uh, I guess if I would give it a score out of 10 for an indie game and the price, uh, I'd probably give it like a 7. 7.5. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.